Hey guys, don't do your payments one at a time with SAP Business One. Let's jump into this payment wizard tutorial right now. So if you're gonna do a payment run, you're going to use the payment wizard. If you're using an outgoing payment to do your payments one at a time, you can still do that, but this will allow you to select multiple documents from multiple vendors at one time. Probably don't wanna waste your time, because it's precious. So you pop open the payment wizard here, modules, banking, payment wizard, boom, starts here, next. In this case, we're gonna start a new payment run, next. You can name it whatever you want, it gives it an auto name, obviously today is the date. I'm doing outgoing payments today, you can do the same thing for incoming. Checks or bank transfers, I'm just gonna do a bank transfer for right now, but if you're gonna do a check run, you could do it this way. You could even queue up most of your checks this way and some manually and then do one single check run. It will be fine. For this one, I'm going to just use a selection of vendors. You can select by group. You can select them manually. I'm gonna select by property. You could do it for a, a code range. I'm just gonna do it for my example. Just these three to make it simple. You can also expand your selection criteria in the upper right hand corner with these fields. So you have a ton of other fields that you can select by. So there's a lot of different stuff in there. And then you can get real detailed with who you're going to pay and why. Next. For the most part, you can leave this default if you want. Um, I mean, I'm just going to set the due date up until today. So we're going to say, do it by due date for today. It won't show future remit. So it'll just show things that are now due. You could say pay everything up to the end of the month. However you want to pay, you can make your own process. And that's kind of up to you. So all these filters are easy peasy to understand. Next. In this case, I only have one type of EFT file. I'm just going to do this. There is the potential if you have multiple bank accounts, a more complicated situation, that you would have multiple EFTs. These are what are linked to your specific documents to your customers. So if their preferred method is EFT or you've selected EFT as the payment method on the document, these would show up here. My name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. I make tons of SAP Business One content. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you don't come to YouTube all the time, it'll send you an email. Check out www.battleshipcobra.com. I have a Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course and an SQL for SAP Business One course as well. So those are awesome online self-paced courses. I hope you enjoy the content, back to the tutorial. So in this one, I'm just gonna select this EFT. Again, it could be multiple, and I'm just gonna keep it simple and do it to this bank account. If you had checks, you can see what the balance of those are. You know, I, this is not realistic information right here. You can also check out my EFT video. I've done videos on the process of user creation of uh, EFT files. I will link that in a card above. Next. So check that. This will give you all of the information for these particular vendors. So a couple little tricks here. View, restore column width, no sorry, fit column width. You'll see these columns, expand all. You can see all the documents here. Geez, I am very overdue on a lot of these documents in this demo. You can also click your form settings here and you can change any of these that you want. Add or remove document types, payment currencies. You can left click and hold to move these columns around. You could show ones you want, remove ones you don't, search in here and customize what you see. I think I've boiled it down quite a bit in here. So if you had cash discounts, they will automatically be calculated here. You can add your own discount if you're going to. If you're gonna pay less than the full amount, you can manually set it here. You can uncheck all of them by clicking at the top and then you can check a whole customer or you can check individual documents. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So I'm gonna mark that there. All your information that you need to work with your payments is here. So you can also click non-included transactions. I don't believe that I have any. Right now I don't, but it will show you if something is missing, which usually means it's missing a payment method or it'll give you a pretty good detailed set of information as to why it is not in this list. If you need to make a manual payment, there's an add manual row here. You can do this basically if you're gonna make a payment in addition, uh, you could do that right from this spot right here. 
So you make up everything that you're gonna do here. You've already selected your payment method. This is the EFT and I'm gonna push next. So certain customers wanna have this approved by somebody. So they would use what's called a payment order, which means you can do the entire run, do the payment order, and then you can actually just print preview uh, all of the payments before you actually run them through. So I'm gonna do that method. If you wanted to execute this right away, you can just click next, but I'm gonna click execute payment order run. You can obviously do the other two there, just save it and come back. Execute payment order run. Next, payment wizard saved as payment order run. So this is just gonna make three payment orders. It's not actually going to do anything and I'm gonna push finish. Modules, banking, payment orders. I'm gonna just say I, I have just those three for right now, okay. So you can go here and print preview. Or you, I mean, you could print right from here or, or do whatever. I don't know if you could do these in crystal reports, but this is basically a list of say, getting permission for this particular set of payments. So it shows you how it's gonna be paid. It's gonna show you the details. Of course, it's in French. Let's just change that, my bad. Push this pencil, push payment order from OPEX. Uh, set as default, print preview. So again, now you can see payment. This is a little bit messy. I, I don't, again, I don't know if you could do this in crystal. I'm assuming you can. Um, I haven't done it yet. It has a couple little special things. So maybe it's a little bit difficult for it. So you can get these, all these would be signed off and then your payments would be done. You could also make an external payment order crystal report that just links to these open ones. So whenever there's an open payment order, you could do that. That's another way to do it. You can highlight one or two of these and print them individually, one of one or you can use control, highlight them all, or just highlight one or two, and then it will print it. So this is maybe why it doesn't work with Crystal. I would have to try it anyways. So for now, that's the layout, and that's what I'm sticking to. So you print those, somebody would approve them, they'll double check it. You know, honestly, when, when people want these payment order approvals, usually they wanna see the GLs, like what it's going to affect or what the rows are, what some descriptions are. So this is, uh, again, is is whatever. Cancel, now you have approval for them. Modules, banking, payment wizard. So you're gonna push next. Load, so you're gonna see that this payment order run was already made. So this is what you would go back. If you wanted to see ones that had already been executed, you can click view executed, go to final step and run it through there. Again, if you check out my EFT file form, EFT, fi EFT file generation video, I go a bit more into detail on this and how it works and stuff and how to regenerate EFT files. So we're gonna click, uh, not gonna do that because this is not executed. So we're gonna go payment order run, go to final step. We don't necessarily need to review it if nothing changed and we'll push next. So you're almost at the final step here. You can review the documents next and then execute the payment run. This will actually process all the documents, make all of the outgoing payments and do all that stuff in one step. Execute the payment one. Payment wizard was executed successfully. So this is Finished and complete, you could see three payments were added, three bank transfers were added. Um, you could generate the bank file from here and upload for all of these payments right to your bank. Uh, contact your SAP partner or myself if you want an EFT file mapping. Um, you could see my tutorial again on the EFT for much more detail on that. I also added an email payment advice document here. So this will send out to each of the vendors that was um, created an outgoing payment for and it'll give them the list of documents they're paying and say, hey, we're doing the EFT file upload. And um, this is done by print and delivery out of the box. SAP Business One can't do this. You'd have to go sale uh, outgoing payment by outgoing payment and do it manually. So that's annoying. So it's another good reason to get B1 up print and delivery. From there, you can print all of these various things. So you could print a summary. This has all sorts of stuff in here, what you paid. Let's see what this looks like here. Kind of looks pretty basic. I think a lot of these you can adapt pretty easily into Crystal Reports too. So they just look a little nicer, but this is what was paid. You can have, you could print all the outgoing payments, payment summary by currency, print them for your records or whatever you need to do here. And then when we're done, we will click finish. So that's it for today. Don't do your outgoing payments one at a time. Use the payment wizard 
You could generate a file for your EFT, or you can also generate checks. I won't cover the check run in this video. I'll do it in another video, but you can go from there to doing the check printing process directly. Again, if you wanna learn more about EFTs, you can get my user training. I'll link that in the description below and in a card above. My name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Check out www.battleshipcobra.com for my crystal reports for SCB Business One course, or my SQL for SCB Business One course, or on Udemy self-paced online web courses. They'll take you from knowing nothing about Crystal or SQL to being great with it. If you like this video, like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Check out my other videos and other playlists. I have tons of other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.